Hall of Famer, and now we get to call you Coach Mullen uh, for your alma mater, St. John's. What has this last two weeks been like for you? It's been an incredible uh, emotional roller coaster, and um, I'm really excited. I think looking at a great opportunity to come home, to come to a place that's done so much for me, and um, coach young men, have an influence them, obviously teach them great basketball. I think more importantly, be a mentor and role model and develop them as uh, not only players, but young men. Chris, how do you attack a job like this? Well, you know what, it's attacked me already between uh, being on the road, already recruiting, uh, putting a staff together, figuring out the roster. There's so much been thrown at me in this first two weeks. Um, so it's a lot, but you know, my experience in basketball throughout my whole career between GM, um, advisor, player, different roles I play, I think will, will, will serve me well. Uh, I've got some adjustments to do, obviously, to the college game. But uh, as I put my staff together, everything will fall in place. You mentioned your career, a storied one. Being born here in Brooklyn and, and growing up here, did you ever imagine that there would be professional basketball in this borough? Never. I mean, this is the most amazing transformation uh, that I've seen growing up right down Flappish Avenue here. I could never imagine sitting in this arena. I was here for All-Star Week, and I've been to several Brooklyn Nets games. Uh, not only the beauty of it, but growing up, uh, remember my, my, my father talking about the Dodgers leaving, right? And now here we are pretty much on the same piece of land that the Dodgers wanted with the Nets play. So it's an incredible building. Uh, it's a great organization. And uh, it's just it's just for a kid from Brooklyn to be sitting here. It is. It's, it's a dream come true. Chris, we certainly appreciate your time. We're rooting for you. Good my, luck with that. My everything. pleasure. Thank you so much.